All right, so in this uh, demo, I'm going to talk about how you can uh, run Ubuntu Linux 64 bit on top of uh, uh, your Windows 10 uh, Hyper V machine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the, the virtual switch manager. So, in this case, I'll just ensure that the external network is bind to your Wi Fi or your physical uh, LAN cable so that uh, uh, you can access the internet just in case. But in this case, then just say OK. And uh, uh, the initial installation is going to be uh, now from the ISO file. So it's uh, not going to uh, access the internet unless uh, you decide to download up updates for Ubuntu, which it will prompt during the setup process. So I'm just going to say new virtual machine. Next, and say Ubuntu. And choose a different folder in this case. And, uh, and say E drive from the installation location. I'll say Gen 1 and give about a little bit less than 4 GB of memory and uncheck the dynamic memory for this. Select the network interface, create a VHD. So once that is done, you can start the virtual machine and then try to connect it I'm gonna change the uh, resolution at this point so I'm just going to wait for it and uh, let it run and then um, run through the setup process So you get two different options. One is uh, as a live disk, and then you can also install uh, Ubuntu um, so that every time you can boot up into the uh, Linux, you don't have to have a live disk. So this is what I was talking about. If you select this option, like download updates, updates uh, during the setup process, it's going to take a little while extra, and it is going to download uh, stuff from the internet. So I'm just going to uncheck that and say next. It's a virtual uh, machine, so it's a VHD, so no problems erasing a blank VHD. So I'm just going to say installed now and continue. It is showing the virtual uh, SCSI interfaces, so no worries there. So the hard disk is, uh, the light is on, so I'm guessing it is going to do some processing, extraction of a uh, set of files, so I'll just wait. So select the time zone, the keyboard layout, so I'll just leave them as default and just give a name so in this case I'll just give admin uh, I'm just gonna give a username and password You can uh, just log in automatically or just uh, require a password every time you log in. Nothing special. So it's just going to give a different name. And then just wait for a while and then it should uh, be done.
Turn it off and turn it back on. And that should do it. There you go, and then just put in the password, and you should be in the uh, Ubuntu desktop uh, GUI environment. Okay, so the keyboard shortcuts, just going to uh, quickly check whether internet is working. Yep, so it looks like it's working, so I'm all set.